Hello engineers, in this video we are going to discuss about the cavitation phenomena. This is very very interesting topic and I have seen that we do not know actually what is the cavitation, what is the practical aspect of the cavitation. Mainly I have seen that students do not know and when they go in an industry they see the cavitation phenomena so they just think that the cavitation is the formation of bubbles but what is the story behind it how cavitation and vapor pressure are interrelated they do not know about it so in this video we are going to discuss about the what is cavitation what is the science behind the cavitation how cavitation is related with the pressure we will discuss about it in this video right and we will also see some practical aspect where the cavitation occurs okay so we will see the example as well so let's start the video so here i have a one graph first of all we will see in a graph how any solution boils okay let's suppose for in case of water so how water boils we will see first that and after that we will discuss about the cavitation okay and we will link this cavitation with the this graph got it my point so here you can simply see that there this is my vapor pressure okay and you can simply say this is my vapor pressure or pressure which unit is in atm right and here in x axis there is the temperature okay that is good now if you will see this line okay that line is your constant pressure line line okay this line is your constant pressure line your temperature is increasing but your pressure is fixed okay and let's suppose this pressure is 1 atm okay and we know that water boils at 1 atm at 100 degree celsius okay and if i i just simply ask you what is boiling so boiling is when boiling occurs boiling occurs when your pressure of the liquid boiling occurs when your pressure of liquid comes equal to vapor pressure of that liquid at that temperature got it my point means at one atmospheric pressure at 100 degree celsius your water will boil okay and here one thing is important this is my here this is liquid region and this is your simply understand that this is your vapor region got it my point now as you increase the temperature as the as you increase the temperature so what will happen that the boiling will start okay this is the point from where boiling starts got it my points now here if you increase the temperature the pressure is constant okay but you are increasing the temperature so what is happening that the boiling occurs got it my points okay what will happen if we do the reverse process okay let's suppose you are here okay now you are reducing the temperature now you are reducing the temperature so what is happening that the condensation will be occurs okay and from here okay the first drop of the condensation will occur and after that there your vapor will convert into the liquid okay first we have understood that liquid is converting into the vapor then vapor will convert into the liquid if we decrease the temperature okay that's good we have understood about it but for our interest we are not concerning about it where we have concern the concern is here this line you can see just i erase this one just i erase here some points i erase now see here one thing this is your line and this is our matter of concern this is my line okay this is our line and that line is a this line is a constant temperature line means your temperature is constant now you are adjusting the pressure let's suppose your liquid is here okay your liquid is here at that point okay and that point is a liquid this is the liquid region now you have to boil your liquid how you can boil there is the two region okay first you, what you can do you can simply increase the temperature okay and after here your liquid will boil and the second is what you can do 
you can simply decrease the pressure as as you will decrease the pressure so from here the boiling will start why i'll tell you and after that the boiling will be start got it my points and if you simply see here at that point your liquid pressure becomes equal to the vapor pressure at that temperature okay at that temperature okay let's suppose it it may be anything right and what happens that at that temperature and vapor pressure the liquid boils got it my points the pressure of liquid comes equal to the vapor of that liquid at that temperature got it my point so what will happen that from here your liquid will boil now what you are doing you are reducing the pressure means if you want to boil the liquid whether you can increase the temperature mainly we do that okay that let's see in your home if you want to boil the water what you will do you will increase the temperature okay because the atmospheric condition there is a const uh, there is pressure is constant but in the industrial practice or in industry some sometimes what we do we reduce the pressure okay as we have reduced the pressure so temperature is constant here so what will happen that the boiling will occur now okay that is okay okay there is no problem but what happen if we increase the pressure means we have here we have reduced the pressure so boiling will occur if we increase the pressure so condensation will occur okay but that time when we increase the pressure okay when we increase the pressure so what will happen that uh, there was the boiling was occurring right so boiling was occurring so there will be the bubbles will form okay as that bubble has formed let's suppose the pressure increases now now we are increasing the pressure for the condensation purpose okay so what will happen that this is the bubble okay so what will happen that as you will increase the pressure so there will be the force okay that force will be applied on that bubble so that bubble size will be reduced okay as that bubble size will be reduced okay and from everywhere the pressure is applied on that bubble so from the weakest point let's suppose this is the weakest point from here this bubble will be burst up this bubble will be burst up let's suppose this bubble has burst up now what will happen that here the first thing is that there is a one liquid okay this is happening in a liquid region okay there is a liquid and we boil that liquid and that is happening within it so now what will happen that as this bubble has burst so the liquid this liquid will suddenly come into here okay the liquid will cover this space so as the liquid will cover this space now so this surface can be damaged okay it could damage this surface got it my points what is happening that the, the bubbles is forming the first this bubble is form here due to boiling and as we as we have increased the pressure so there is the pressure impact on that bubble so that bubble size will be reduced and suddenly it will burst up as it will burst up so that volume that has burst up will be occupied by the liquid okay that occupied by the liquid it will suddenly occupy that region okay and because of that your metal or your surface will be damaged that is very very important which i have told you okay and this is the region of the cavitation means formation of the bubbles okay i am uh, i'll write here as well what is the region the formation of bubbles how the bubble formation is occurring i have already told you and then collapsing then collapsing okay because of that cavitation is occurring and simply you can see that what we are doing first of all it may be happen that we are doing that and it like because of some uncertainty it could happen what you are doing the pressure reduces and then pressure increases because of that first the bubble formation happens and after that that bubble collapse okay now let's see some examples of the cavitation and here you can see the some examples of the cavitation for example this orifice okay how this orifice let's suppose this is connected with the line okay here the line is connected like that with the help of the flange now what you have done here is the press here is the area is high okay diameter is high here is the area is less and we know in our last video we discussed about it as we increase the area okay the pressure increases and vice versa is also true 
so suddenly you have reduced the area so pressure will also reduce and and here what we have discussed we have suddenly reduced the pressure okay we reduce the pressure so what happens the boiling occurs okay there could be also the cavitation could occur and after that your pressure increases right simply because of the area we have reduced same in the glow wall here you can see the area and as let's suppose we only open this glow wall 50 percent okay mainly it not happens here okay mainly not it, it does not happen here but you can simply relate with that okay because while the designing we give some margin as well okay we also consider these things right so that is the cavitation same in the centrifugal pump okay mainly you will study the cavitation in the centrifugal pump and in the centrifugal pump at the eye your pressure is very low okay the vacuum is like vacuum build at the eye okay as the vacuum build that's why this fluid will go here because here the pressure is high and after that as this impeller will impart the kinetic energy okay it uh, it will provide the kinetic energy to the fluid so that fluid have a kinetic energy now that kinetic energy will be converted into the pressure energy means pressure will increase how because of the casing so that bubble will be formed as the pressure increases it will burst up so it will first impact on this impeller as well as the casing got it my points so that's why this cavitation is not good for us that's why we studied cavitation that's why i made one video about it okay i hope you understood about it what is the cavitation means how cavitation is used i hope you understood about the cavitation now let me in the comments box which topics we should cover in our next videos and how was this video please let me in the comments box if you have any doubts also let me in the comments box thanks for watching till then keep learning